Excellent. So, going into the game. In the top right corner, as the yellow Zerg, we have ISL2 Nosgoth. And in the bottom left, as the brown Protoss, we have ISL2 500 kg. But let me actually check that I got the tags right as well. Ah, good, 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 good. So, um, PVZ on Blue Storm. I mean, when it, whenever I see this matchup on this map, I just think I just think chill versus combat, chill versus combat, proxy four gates, all the way. Uh, of course, we most likely will not see something silly like that. But uh, but I mean, it's still a good map, uh, a decent map for proxies, um, even for both for both players actually, because uh, you have this huge area over here on the by the main. Um, that well. Unless you scout it intentionally, checking for proxies, you're pretty much never going to send anything over there. But uh, it looks like a pylon here for 500 kg is going to be for a forge fast expand. Uh, I'm interested to see how he does the wall in. Of course, um, on Blue Storm, the natural is quite wide open and difficult to wall. So let's see what he does. Looks like a little bit of friendly banter going down. And oh, I didn't hide the replay bar. Ah! Sorry about that. Uh, since I was originally going to be casting a live game instead of a replay, I was not paying attention. Um, so, well, oh no, my ops mode. I can't tell if it's working because it's actually a replay, so I could see all the stuff anyway. Uh, looks like it was a 9 pool with gas from, uh, from Nosgoth. And that is a funny place for a forge. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Is he going to put the gateway up here? I guess. And then the nexus here. Uh, he'll need a second cannon to actually cover the nexus though. Um, and more importantly, against a 9-pole speed, this is... Well, this is the ultimate test of uh, of your wall-ins, when the Zerg goes for 9 pull speed, you better have a good wall-in or you are done. Um, looks like Fourlings are out already. And he actually makes a drone. So he went 9 pull speed and only made 4 Zerglings, that's interesting. Uh, and by interesting I mean I think I'd prefer if he actually made 6. But anyway, oh looks like the probe doing some nice blockage here. Um, Zerg is up to almost 400 minerals, looks like he's going to uh, reach 400 minerals before being able to put down that hatchery. Uh, meanwhile, two cannons are down, as expected. And I think he actually will put the gateway here, and that should leave uh, a one hex space for his units to, path to pass through. Uh, yep, looks like one. Oh, maybe that's actually wider than one hex. Well, whatever, Dragoons can get out, so that's good. Um, Probe looks like he's barely surviving here with 1 HP. Uh, speed is on the way, but not quite there yet. Sixlings uh, are out now. Um, looks like... Is that actually... Yeah, th okay, that is Sixlings. Uh, more things are being produced uh, now that the Probe has died. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind, it hasn't died. It's actually going to see the additional Lings. Um, 500 kg doing a great job with his scouting right here. I wonder if he's going to throw down a third cannon. Uh, it's often a good idea to play safe and just just throw down throw down that extra cannon uh, against a nine pull speed. This is an interesting pylon position. Uh, it's gonna let him hide some tech here on the bottom. Uh, I you know as a Protoss player, I'm always very interested to see a players' initial pylon positions because the few the first few pylons are actually quite crucial. Um, you know later in the game you can just spam pylons everywhere because you have a lot of income. Um, so you can get power wherever you want, but in the early game, you know, each, I mean, you make pylons when you need the supply, but since they're also powering your building, it's like, okay, you have to, you have to, you know, you gotta do some good, uh, SimCity, good base management. And, oh, here's the run by, no block whatsoever, uh, all but, well, five Zerglings out of the eight do get in. And five Speedlings in the base is just gonna be so hard to deal with for the Protoss, um, as long as Nosgoth is on top of these Lings. It will be, and look at that, he's, he doesn't even have like an extra pylon, well, eh. I think he's making this pylon because he wants to make a cannon in the main minerals, but this pylon obviously uh, will be taken out quite easily by these zerglings. So this is extremely bad for 500kg right now. 
Uh, I don't know why he didn't leave a probe or two blocking right here. It's the run by threat was just so so clear. Uh, I mean, he had the scouting probe there for a while. Looks like he does get one the Zergling, but he's just suffering so much damage right now. And what is going to be the follow-up? Looks like it's going to be a fast lurker follow-up. Now, is this probe going to see it? No, it looks like the, the lower path is blocked. More links are coming out. Will he be able to block the probe scout? And more importantly, will uh, 500 kg survive the links? Links getting a bit stuck. Do get out. Uh, they do see the Stargate. The Stargate is going to do absolutely nothing to help defend against the lurkers. And, oh, interestingly enough, you see... The cannons are a little bit far back, so not only will the lurkers be able to kill the, the wall, the forge and the gateway, they'll also be able to take down the nexus out of range of the cannons. So this is actually a very good map to uh, to do this strategy on, I think. Uh, and it looks like the probe is running around in the back. And the links are still alive. That is not many probes left. Let's see how many kills there are on these links. Two kills, uh, one kill, two kills, two kills on the other one I think I saw. Yep. Three kills, two kills, one kill, and two. All right, can anyone do addition? I think that's eight kills, I'm not sure. Looks like nine kills, and still getting away. Now, uh, there was a Zealot over here. I didn't see if it got far enough in. I think it did uh, in order to scout. Let's see if he's throwing down extra cannons. No, he's showing no signs of having scouted the Lurker Rush. And oh, looks like... Finally taking down all of those Zerglings, but if, uh, and if we look at the foods, 26 for 500 kg, 27 for Nosgoth, very close, but how is he going to stop the Lurkers? The Hydras are running down, they're going to morph into Lurkers right here. Looks like he didn't actually do his uh, eco-management very well, he's up at 400 minerals and not enough gas. Um, should have taken that second gas uh, a bit sooner. And is that actually drop? I think that's actually Overlord drop. So he's going for a drop here. Is he actually going to... Oh, man, he might actually drop them across this cliff. Yes, he is indeed going to drop through the back. There's no detection in the main. So he'll actually be able to, to lurker... Oh, he can actually run the lurkers around the side here and deny mining here. Um, Why is he just running the hydras in? What? Okay, that's not a good choice. But either way, I think uh, I think the Protoss is completely dead here. Uh, loading up a little bit early. Loading up <laughs> a lurker and a hydra instead of two lurkers. Uh, anyway. And 500 kg seems to have no idea that this is coming. He's even killing overlords instead of scouting! He's not scouting! What? He's... Oh my god. Okay, now he's just dead. No robo, no cannons. Uh, looks like a third... Hatch right here, and here come the lurkers. Is it gonna be instant GG? Is it gonna be instant GG? It should be instant GG. He's getting a cannon here at the front, but uh, the Zerg will be able to drop in the back here. So this should be it. Lurkers coming down here in the front, uh, gonna be able to take this down. Looks like that cannon will finish just in time though. So he'll at least get the forge. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Umbaro, Umbaro! Well, he's gonna lose one lurker. But Protoss has been denied his main base. Um, he is getting a Robo now. I don't know if that's going to matter his gas. Actually, I don't think it will. He can mine on the, on the right side there. But just throwing down more cannons, I mean, he is in a terrible position. And I hear Corsair is shooting stuff. Uh, yeah, looks like going to take out that Overlord that was dropping. Uh oh Looks like he does have one Lurker in here. Can he drop it out in time? I don't think he'll make it. A nice block here with the probes. Is he going to get out? It does get out! The Lurker does get out in time! Oh no! The Lurker gets out! Did you see that? The Overlord was here and the Lurker just dropped over here. I don't know how that works. How the physics works. Maybe it had a parachute or something and it just floated over there? But, oh man, now there's no mining whatsoever for 500 kg. He's building an observatory, trying to rebuild the cannon. But that is just not gonna happen. He's gonna lose his forge anyway. I mean, he's getting plus one. He's like, well... You know, I can't make units. I'll just make plus one. Looks like something counterattacked. Um, probably a couple of zealots. Looks like he does have speed, but it is futile. Uh, getting some Hydra ups. He's not actually making an observer. Oh, he doesn't have enough money for an observer. GG! 500 kg, GG's out, and Nosgoth takes the first game of the group.